What's up guys, William Kelly here with Military Lawn Cuts. We are in our third year and we have five trucks. We range anywhere from 10 to 15 employees depending on the season. And we are almost doing seven figures in our lawn care industry. And we're running it all out of our home garage at our house. Stay tuned. So I already know what you're asking. How in the world are you doing it? And I'm gonna tell you right here, right now, we're doing it and we live in an HOA. So as you can see behind me, I've got two trucks. Here's number one with our spray rig on it. And here's number two with our ramp on it, okay? If I come over here, this is our porch. There is truck number three. And if you look down the, the street, that is where all of our team parks. So I will show you here momentarily where we do our team meetings in the morning, where we sharpen our blades, and where our office absolutely crushes it. All right, now I will be showing you where we hold our Monday morning meetings. We have 10 to 15 employees right here in this garage shop area please excuse the mess this is prime time i think we're, we're, we're mid-august and this is this is real time guys so i did not clean up the garage for you or anything like that but this is where we have all of our team meet in the mornings i don't know if you can see here we have a whiteboard where we do team training and we uh, write down what trucks each team is in and what crews and, and what kind of jobs they have for the day, uh, which they can see off service autopilot anyways. But um, got a few seats for the employees to kind of sit down in. Uh, generally speaking, these overhead garage doors are open in the morning. Um, I don't know if you can see this. So this is our, there we go, blade sharpener holder here. And we've got a couple blades here underneath the napkin that we uh, grind up and everything. Over here is the leadership binder that we use. Um, we've got a couple mowers back here that need to be worked on. Uh, what we do is we basically put, we have our guys put a um, out of service tag on it right here. See how it says out of service and basically just write down what's wrong with it and things like that. So this is where the equipment comes to get serviced and everything like that. This is it guys. This is where we run a seven figure, almost a seven figure lawn care company in about three years we've, we've been open. So um, I don't know if you can see down here too. Uh, we've got all our jugs for our fertilizing and weed control. Blue jugs is Nuts Edge and Broadleaf. Yellow is King Ranch Blue Stem, and then black is Dallas Grass. Um, down here, we've got a couple pallets. We have them delivered for our fertilizing rounds, and we're gonna be going into our pre-emergent rounds here at the end of this month. So um, let me show you the office space and where our uh, office managers operate from. All right, guys, so what I did is I actually flipped the camera around for this shot. So this is where all the magic happens. We've got our printer right here. We actually have two printers, one right here, and then there's one back here. And this is where, again, excuse the mess, but this is where all the magic happens, okay? We have triple screens, because we're always working hard. We've got two setups here. I can see directly out my window when the guys pull up and they park out on the street. All right, so you have to have your whiteboards. It's very, very, very important. Also, if you look up here, we have one little guy. That means one crew can do four and a half hours, budget hours a day. Two little guys can do seven budget hours a day. When it's 100 degrees, hot and humid, you don't want to overwork your guys. All of our team gets done no later than 1 p.m. during the summer months. It's very, very, very important that these numbers stay accurate, okay? We also have admin to-dos. We also have infield to-dos. Over here, what I like to do is my separate board is I write down all of the stuff that we need to do at the at 
at the end of this season. So really, really key important factors that I can't do exactly right now when we're super busy in our busier months, but that need to get done down the road. Um, those are the keynotes or some really, 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 really good information that I'm like, hey, we have to do this next year. Dream board. Have to have your dream board. So what do we got here? A jet ski. We rented a jet ski this year. You got to have some fun. You've got to have some goals. You have to have some dreams. Everything that you guys do is for something, right? And this is kind of our dream board on what we want. So um, got a couple extra keys and stuff like that. Uh, also up here, it shows we're tracking this at all times. So the green number is what we started off with for the number of accounts for the year. This is our goal right here, 320 Mo accounts and 600 fertilized weed control clients. And you can see where we're at. We like to set very, very, very high goals. So that way when we shoot for the stars, we'll at least land up there in the galaxy. Um, we just try to set really high goals for ourselves so that way we achieve more. Um, but you can see what we started with. We almost just about doubled on the Mo and almost doubled on the weed control. So we're doing really, really good guys. Again, this is where all the magic happens. We are running a almost a seven figure lawn care company out of literally our home garage uh, and house. And that pretty much wraps up the tour of our shop and garage area. So hopefully this gives some of you guys encouragement to start your own lawn care company uh, business. Um, we literally started our, our lawn care company with $75 on Facebook Marketplace. We went and we bought a mower off of the marketplace, was literally putting it in the backseat of my Pontiac Grand Prix and walking to all of our local clients. We didn't have a truck. We didn't have commercial equipment. We didn't have anything. And we are still operating out of the same garage from years later, almost doing seven figures in our business. So hopefully this gives you guys some motivation, some encouragement, some hope that you guys can start your businesses right out of your garage. You don't need this big shop. You don't need all these mowers. You don't need all these trucks. Just simply start today. And if you stay consistent and do good quality, you too can be where we're at, doing almost seven figures in your lawn care company at your house with very, very, very low overhead. So if you guys like what you saw, let me know. Put it in the comments. Smash the like button. These videos take a lot of time to make, so... Um, I appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh, yeah, forgot to mention. And right out there is where we do our interviews for hands-on training.